Department of Commerce, Institution, Innovation Council and Faculty Development Cell who have been organized this wonderful workshop for all entrepreneurs, budding startups as a management and engineering students who have been studying in this prestigious college. I also would like to give thanks to Honorable Dr. C. Kanagraj sir, who is HOD um, uh, Biotechnology section, convener of IIC. It is my great privilege to in front of all of you that uh, today our topic is uh, entrepreneurship, innovation and leadership development. It's really very interesting topic to us, betterment of any country who have been lagging behind the growth and continuous development for the nation. How we can think about entrepreneurship. First, we have to understand what is entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the ability and readiness to develop, organize and run a business enterprises along with any of its uncertainties in order to make a profit and societal growth. The most important importance of this that in economy entrepreneurship connected with land, labor, natural resources and capital can generate a profit. The entrepreneur Vision is defined by discovery and risk taking abilities that is in an indispensable part of nation's capacity to succeed in an ever changing and more competitive global marketplace. This is very much important to understand the first meaning of that entrepreneur. In a short, I would like to brief about the importance of this uh, real mean of entrepreneur. The entrepreneur is defined as someone who has the ability and desire to establish, administer and succeed in a startup venture along with risk entitled to it and make profit. The best example of entrepreneurship is the starting of a new business venture or any startup enterprise. The entrepreneurs are often known as a source of new ideas. It means who each entrepreneur definitely that particular individual have innovative abilities. And source of their new ideas are implemented in their particular startup or enterprise and bring new ideas in the market by replacing old with a new USP invention or we can say any best services compared to other existing market which is already going on in that particular services or product what you are going to be and definitely in a short, anyone who has the will and determination, because will and determination, both are very much important for going into entrepreneurship. Who have will and determination, but don't have that particular financial abilities, leadership qualities, which we will go in 
more detail today because our topic is focused more on leadership innovation. How we can develop all this threat within our staff? Because only will our and determination is not enough for successful entrepreneur. So definitely. I would describe this four types of entrepreneurship that in a short we can understand. One, we can see around us that is small business entrepreneurship. A small business entrepreneurship we already understand. I will not go into more detail. A small business entrepreneurship we can see like travel agent, normally consultant, grocery store, plumber around you, electrician. These all are small business entrepreneurs. Second one is scalable startup entrepreneurship. This startup entrepreneur start a business knowing that their reason can change the world. They attract great investors who think and encourage people who think out of the box. Because this is very much important to understand the research focuses on a scalable business and experimental model. So they they can hire and the best and be brightest employees because for a scalable startup entrepreneurship this is very much important to attract the great employee and they require more venture capital to fuel and back their project or business so in scalable startup entrepreneurship we can see so many uh, startup who have been started in 2019 to 21 till that various startups are going to be boost at present in India. And if we look at C in the third stage of entrepreneurship, that is large company entrepreneurship. Excuse These me, sir. Hutch companies have defined. Am I audible but, clear? Yes, sir. But uh, do you have a PPT, sir? Is there PPT means pressure? Yeah, PPT is uh, also I am having, but actually uh, that is the more focus on understanding and I am in some network issues, so that's why it would be okay, a problem. Oh, no issues, sir. Proceed, sir. Yeah. So in a third point, if you look at C, that is the entrepreneurship, large company entrepreneurship. These Hutch companies have defined life cycle. Most of these companies grow and sustain by offering new and innovative product. The change in technology, customer preferences, new competition, etc. Build pressure for large companies to create an innovative product and sell it to the new set of customer in the new market to cop, cop up with the rapid technological changes and the existing organization which either by innovation enterprises or attempt to construct the product internally. So this is inclusion of all this under large company entrepreneurship. Last one that is social entrepreneurship. This type of entrepreneurship we can understand that a startup or organization based on social problem. They are created more and more based on the problem surrounding your area and that problem you can resolve from your social entrepreneurship. Like we can see Matcourt. It's a very important startup recently. Geometer, we can see that is 
you one individual having the problem to get services of their choice food and on the time deliver that is by zomato and swiggy we can see social entrepreneurship also we can see like mila one of the very great startup so that is very much popular so to helping the people who have need of that particular funding in that there any particular diseases that mila is just very great platform for all needy candidate their families for communities empowering that is the main motto of mila and good donator organization they have connected with mila and in the end of that needy communities or any particular family who need the fund for particular issue they get easily and this is the social entrepreneurship that we can see as example so now i would like to go in brief of characteristics of entrepreneurship because we can see there are plenty of examples around the world that every entrepreneur never succeed there are so many cause behind that and to succeed in that particular entrepreneurship definitely that defined characteristic should be at that level where they can achieve higher success in their entrepreneurship so this is very much important to understand there are few quality that i am going to explain you which are very much important to understand characteristics of entrepreneurship which is very very important fast innovation definitely it very important skill set and your characteristic that you have to be very innovate in your services either in your product whatever best and best services solutions you can provide to your end customer because if particular existing market is already there in your field of services or product but you have innovation in your delivering that particular services or quality of your product with innovative test on particular solution of your services but something innovation is there in your product or services definitely your you will be a successful in your entrepreneurship but single this is not important after that you have to be much more risk taker ability to take a risk this is the second characteristic that i would like to mention first one innovation second one ability to risk because starting any venture that involves a considerable amount of failure risk definitely as if we look at see that an entrepreneur needs to be very courageous and able to evaluate and take a risk because this is the very essential part of being an entrepreneur if you don't have risk taking ability i don't think that first you will think about entrepreneur no so definitely you are innovator you may be very innovative daily 
new and new ideas come into your mind. But have you seen those people who have taken that entry in entrepreneurship? No, because they just stuck with that taking a risk. So this is the very important. You have to be develop ability to take risk. Without risk, there is no honey. So we can understand this is very much important. And third one that you have to be very open minded. Third characteristic, if you are very open minded, you are very, uh, you know, uh, like. Having very inclusive thought within yourself and inner potential of your mindset that how. You can be a, in every circumstances can be a very opportunistic and use for your benefit of that particular idea. Because very open minded persons and being a very opportunistic person, definitely that persons always be successful in that entrepreneurship. For example, we can say. Like Paytm recognize the gravity of demonetization and. Acknowledge. The need for online transaction. That is. Increases day by day we can understand so that Paytm utilize that solution with particular situation and expanded massively during that time and continuous it is going on. And now others. Back down same principle. New startup have been established, right? So. This is very much important. How much you will be a. Great visionary. Because Paytm understand the vision of. Upcoming. Generation that. Where. They need that particular on online transaction. Facility and whole platform. Will be under one. Group. So we can see various services. Are. Under one roof. In Paytm. And Paytm innovating day by day. Because competition going on. So now you have to understand also that within a visionary quality. You have to be also innovate that I already told in a first point innovate because you have to continuous innovate your product and services. Nothing you will be not stay in the market. It is not possible because other competitors will fail you. So continuous innovation is very essential. That is the first point. Second point that I told you that you have to be tech enter in new product services. More and more under your business by taking ability of develop. This ability to take a risk. Then you have to be very open minded to apply your thought and uh, very curious about learning also. Because as you will learn automatically, you will develop your thought and you will apply. Then next visionary and leadership quality that is very much important. Because if you are not ha having visionary quality, definitely you cannot judge what would be happen after next five years. After 10 years, so you have to be visionary. That you can see by your experiences by taking you, uh, your risk abilities by in your innovation by your open minded thought that you have applied slowly slowly automatically you will get confident so you will be able to see the reason because you are very open minded you are working with people you already implemented your thought based on some research 
apply those principle slowly slowly in your business with based on innovation automatically as result goes on automatically you will be set your vision that okay now you have to reach on that level you have to because you are reading the customer centric ability that how customers are thinking how they are behaving how they are they are motivating that you can provide them their particular problem solution right so that is very much important now next very much important characteristic of entrepreneur that is that entrepreneur should be much more flexible not rigid you have to be very much flexible in your thought in your thought implementation in your working functionary because flexibility is very important to adopt the change to be on the top a business person should be equipped to embrace change in a product and services as and when required so this is very much important that you have to be very flexible in your nature so that you can apply the innovation and you can make some required changes time to time your rigid nature will diminish all this thing maybe your business may fail so you have to be very flexible if you want to succeed in entrepreneur now your product should be acknowledged by you next ability to be a successful in entrepreneur that know your product in well defined man a company owner should always know the product offering and also be aware of latest trends in the market what is going on because it is very essential to know if the available product or services meets the demand of your customer or your current market whether it is time to tweak it a little because being able to accountable and then alter as needed is a vital part of entrepreneurship if you look at see that uh, ability to develop your leadership skills because all entrepreneurs should develop that leadership skill innovation i would like to brief few seven key leadership skills for entrepreneur now and the point this is very much important to understand that leadership is almost 100% about managing people and having great ideas and a strategic vision would not get you far if your employees are not willing to follow you so great leadership qualities are very much important to understand and to follow that so first leadership skills that you have to develop i already mentioned in the characteristic that is the first skill that to develop a strategic vision your vision should be very very strategic in your nature that should be defined clearly as we can understand that you your passion and great business idea are not enough to succeed in your business you need a strategy which can be a very fruitful for next 5 to 10 years 
you have to understand the plan agenda objective of your organization plan where you want your business to be in next 5 years in 10 years and how you are going to take it there that plan also should be should be framed out right so this is very much important second point for developing leadership skill for entrepreneurs that is communicate with transparency transparency should be in your thought in your ideas in your working functionaries whatever commitment you are doing it, that should be fulfilled share your successes and failures with your people inform clearly transmitted gives them context and a sense of belonging to the organization it should be feel from your heart that there is some attachment of your employee within their organization and definitely it will increase your productivity within your organization it will increase your leadership because as you will give combination of belongingness and ability to attachment with your organization with your customer then this is very much important to get into the higher level of leadership sport and retain the best talent within your organization this is very much important point to increase your leadership always value the talent always the value the talent pool in your organization already working you have to provide the specified growth to those people your leadership will increase automatically quality talented people always required by every organization and great leader always judge to those persons who are having that talent who are working specifically in that segment and your business is as successful as the people working in it great leaders who created successful company have one thing in common they surround themselves with talented courageous loyal people once you have recruited them invest in their development also like we can say one example that so uh, some noise is going on i think a sound sir will move sir voice coming actually now it's okay sir yeah so
Sir, we can't hear your voice, sir. Okay. Just I am going to share PPT actually. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Dear participants, kindly wait. There is a, some technical issue. Please be wait. Yes, sir. Visible, sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Yes, sir. Visible, yes, sir. sir. Okay, just. Actually, rain is going on, so that's why due to network issue, I thought that.
sir is it visible yes sir yeah so we already came to know that what is the leadership actually due to some technical issues i was not able to run my ppt i already prepared that but uh, some network issue and here weather issue so that one so art of motivating a group of people to act towards achieving a common goal that we all know that is the leadership now what skill skills good leaders that needed because today our topic is just based upon all these thing that uh, what leadership and innovation ability we can develop within ourselves and that is the main skill set for good leaders who needed that uh, what first of strategic thinking that i already told you planning and delivery planning how to achieve your vision and dealing with challenges along with that people management finding the right people and motivating them i already discuss about that change management recognizing responding and managing changes to your vision and plans communication working on the best ways to communicate your vision to others and listening your i listening to ideas and implement those in your organization persuasion and influence definitely encouraging other to be achieve their vision and uh, screen is visible Yes, sir. Visible. It's not audible, sir. Uh, dear participants uh, due to the poor uh, connectivity so the network issues is going on he will try to join again for the bad network connectivity participants wait for few minutes
dear participants due to the poor network connectivity of his place he can't able to rejoin so we'll conclude the this session today session so sorry for the incon inconvenient okay so the due to the poor uh, weather uh, so he can't able to connect so tomorrow sessions uh, we are going to uh, plan for the startup and opportunities and business development is the interesting persons uh, dr sujithing bataria so he is from gwalior so he is going to present the startup and opportunity and business development tomorrow so all of you join so he come again yeah he'll join he'll join arvin sir please enable him yes sir yes sir so sometimes the online sessions are happening like that unfortunately sir connect him sir yeah. actually uh, connected sir oh, sir sir connected yeah 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 welcome sir actually muted by your i think side i was not getting how to unmute myself my voice was not clear at that time reach up to you now is it okay yeah okay sir okay sir can you sir allow sir can you sir yeah ppt uh, clear to everyone yes uh, it's visible sir yeah so we were continuing again uh, and the now that how leadership exist that we can understand by this and automatically your followers increase leadership theories we already i think everyone know this uh, basic leadership theories if don't know uh, in details uh, i would like not go more details about that all this but these are the main theory that is the very much popular in management that great men theory track theory contingency theory and situational theory and behavioral theory that you have to understand this leadership theory so that 
you can judge your leadership abilities and groom to yourself accordingly now it come into the force for features of academic academic leadership we coach we mostly current current audience are i think faculties and students and it's time to develop leadership for academicians how their be- leadership behaviors can change that is the first management and administration planning and policy development networking within your university's institution commitment and positional your power that is the main important that how you are going to do your finance management how you responding to ad hoc requests your mission achievement till that your academic vision achievement what you have done that you can not it down and you can groom to yourself by this indicator developing disciplines pushing up rankings automatically as administration planning and policy development will your academic leadership will develop your institution ranking will automatically on the top building a good le- relationship understanding colleges supporting colleges trust and your loyalty how you are loyal within your society your stakeholders students everyone having influences lead and guide with examples now how leadership affect innovation that is the question we can understand that innovative leaders have a vision of the future looking not just for immediate success but also at long term goals and definitely these are the very important point to understand that how you can judge your leadership abilities that don't doubt your ability to succeed be caring be innovative in changing circumstances when assigning the task i consider people's skill and interest know your capabilities by swot analysis strength weakness opportunity and threat your action plan should show what you want from the people set clear goal promote your team bond plan well for the future and welcome criticism always for good leaders this is the very important objective to develop yourself always welcome criticism teams perform best when individuals keep doing the same task and perfecting them so lead by action this is very much important instead of learning new skills and challenging themselves leading by example is the best way to do this so always lead by your action action is big more more than your word doing the right thing what we rarely see however are stories about the numerous companies that are managed by ethical leader these leaders do the right thing at the right time with right people with right reason that is the very important they put their ethics because before the bottom line and as a result they have dedicated teams what would do almost anything of them so of course leadership is just trust is the force that connect leaders from the people that is the very important during your leadership appreciate and motivate you need to be the very responsible take responsibility if you either you win or you lose you have to be a responsible just because you are driving the bus doesn't mean you have the right to run people over definitely ensure positive environment keep continue your passion great leaders know they don't have all the answers definitely keep quiet sometime listen to others also 
the trip is a process not the destination so focus on solution and not complaint these are the few leaders quality in the short and brief i would like to mention over all of you you can understand you can note it down also for your future developments that is the first one high self image desire to do something positive attitude that leaders should be a very visionary leaders should be able to fulfill their commitment so there should be a very committed responsibility to handle all of that responsibility and that should be a very responsible person accountability hard working enthusiasm dependability sincerity definitely one leader should be a very sincere during his or her approach flexibility that should i already told you in earlier and discipline they should be very disciplined in their nature their working environment this taking abilities i already mentioned you earlier that innovative ability that is the first point that leader should be innovate what values they have to be give to because as a leader you have to be value and you have to maintain all the thing in your life personally family professional social spiritual all question you have to be understand and you have to make values for you have to spend some time for everyone personal and professional values that personal ethics you have to maintain all this thing ability courage credibility dependability honesty integrity now in professional ethics quality of services sincerity customer satisfaction be loyal always honesty understanding to your customer approaches your employees and accountability during win or loss you have to be accountable you have to be very responsible for your result so how do you recognize this all you can recognize by the particular identity that trigger situation what you face prepare in advance listen to your inner voice you will understand all them so always develop intrinsic motivation within yourself and listen your inner voice reevaluate your decision before you act definitely it's very much important so in a short now in the end of my ppt i would like to give this punch line which i have prepared especially for all young generation and newly young in startup that they have to understand life is all about challenges take it life is all about happiness give it life is all about diversified experiences enjoy it and life is all about innovation try to do it life is all about impossible let us try to make it possible we can see this this all corporate leaders who had make that every impossibility into possible you can see all this i think most of participant know about all these picture great leaders are here so thank you so much thank you sir thank you for giving your wonderful sessions arvin sir over to you yeah yes sir yes. Uh, thank you sir thank you for the presentation so dear audience for 2 to 3 minutes you can take it no problem yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. sir dear participants if you having any questions uh, related to this uh, entrepreneurship or innovation or uh, leadership you can ask Uh, and for sorry for the inconvenience uh, so i hope uh, if you having any clarification sir will be answering to yeah. so if you having any questions please uh, ask so uh, so if you having any doubts you can uh, just use the hand raise option uh, in the teams uh, so we will uh, 
Hello, your mic. Uh, we will turn, uh, enable your mic. You can uh, talk or you can ask your. Or even you can uh, post your doubts in the chat box. Sir, video can be replayed. I'm time. I'm trying to replay one video. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Proceed. Yeah, sir. yeah. How one can motivate for India development? This is very much important. Yeah, now it's and moving. We have to understand our attitude building. We have to change ourselves. Voice will directly come into pause, or I have to click or something directly after sharing. After sharing, you should click the play. Okay. Voice will automatically come, or I have to add something. Just better, tell uh, me. Uh, voice is it, uh, switch off your camera, sir. We can get a better bandwidth. Voice is coming. Sir, please tell me voice is coming. Sir, sir, no, sir. The video is not playing, sir. Now, sir, you can better retain of your camera, sir. Uh, there, so you can get a better network, sir. Sir, if you can't be able to share, means we can put the session, sir. Arvind, sir? Yes, sir. Sir, sir I think, uh, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir, we can conclude it. Sir, video is showing or not? No, sir, not sorry. It's a hanging of screen. Okay, okay, okay. That's why I was thinking actually that video is replay or not properly. I think due to network issue, I think it is not going to load it, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, no issue, no problem. Okay. Ah, okay. You, keep, you can keep continue if any yeah. question like it. Are you sir, confirm? Ah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. So, so it is such an honor and for me to get the opportunity to propose the vote of thanks. So, on behalf of Pratinam College of Arts and Science, I would like to express my gratitude to all the esteemed delegates of uh, of this uh, faculty development program for their presence and contribution to make this uh, today's session a great success. I extend my gratitude to our honorable research person at she, Dr. Nayan Pragas Gandhi, a global management leadership and career strategy startup coach, 
board of director EN, uh, ECNLP Austria uh, and international advisor of uh, University of Accra, Ghana to take out the time from this busy, uh, busy schedule to grace the event. And thank you for inspiring uh, and encouraging us with your work, sir, on this special day. And a special thank to our beloved uh, principal, Dr. R. Murali Dharan, for providing immense support to make this today's session uh, successful. Thank you, sir. And I would like to thank our secretary and uh, CEO, Dr. R. Manikam, for his support. Thank you, sir. And also, I would like to thank our uh, deans of uh, School of Science and uh, Dean of Research, Dr. Uh, uh, KFTV Sabris uh, for his support. Thank you, sir. And I heartily thank our conveners of the program, Dr. T. M. Hamaladar, Dean of uh, the School of Commerce, and uh, Dr. C. Kanagaraj, convener of IAC and HOD of uh, Biotechnology, for guiding us. Thank you, sir. And uh, I would like to thank uh, this FTP organizing secretary, Dr. S. Saravan Kumar, HOD of Commerce, and also the committee members for organizing this wonderful event. Thank you, sir, and our team. And uh, last but not least, I thank all the participants for their active participation. And uh, thank you, everyone, once again, making this uh, session a great success. And uh, sorry for this uh, today inconvenience. So tomorrow in upcoming se session, we will ensure that this won't happen again. So thank you, participants, for being uh, patient throughout the session. Thank you. We will meet. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for tomorrow. joining us. Very, I'm very happy to uh, uh, have you, your presentations. Thank you, sir. Yeah, actually, sir, due to some here weather issue, networking problems, so yes, I have I prepared a your presentation and some video for my training also I have prepared, but everything was there, but due to that here weather issue, I was not able to share. So sorry to all of participants that uh, because it's uh, just we have to accept the uh, era of technology that we are going to use and uh, definitely it is just adopt to change that how we can go up with all these problems because this is the part of the training also that we have to understand the problems of technical any difficulties and we have to understand all these things because this is the major crucial demerits of technology that if it happens that we we just disturb in all of that learning and uh, decrease our motivation and something so it may be problem to all of you but uh, we know that this is the raining season is going on so weather is continuous bad everywhere so no issue keep continuing so, thank you so much you. if you anything and for entrepreneurship i would like to give a uh, special any more knowledge eager consulting anything from any students they are looking for guiding their uh, startup or entrepreneurship stage they can contact me my mail